What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Play Builder video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the best Hassan Whiteside build. Okay, this is something I don't really do for build videos, but I'm going to go completely off script. Is Hassan Whiteside good? And for that matter, has he ever actually really been good? I know everybody's going to hear this and say Mac is crazy, but level with me on this one. As a talent, 7 foot, 265 pound Whiteside is a great shot blocker and rebounder, but he's basically a defensive Jalil Okafor. That is, a center playing a low effort version of an outdated style of play, which is 90s ball. Whereas Jalil Okafor would have been a really good post player in the 90s, Hassan Whiteside would have been a solid defender a la Dikemi Mutombo, but like a step down, so he'd be like... I don't know, Sean Bradley, not really Sean Bradley, a step up above Sean Bradley, but a really good shot blocker, and that's kind of it, and rebounder, and that's kind of it. He's known for his Dwight Howard-style volleyball swats into the stands, but what separates him from Prime Superman, and it's the reason why Dwight Howard has multiple defensive player of the years, and Hassan Whiteside, even in his best season, was trying to fight to get to all defensive teams, is that Dwight Howard's blocks would equate to stops. On offense, he has his hook that he'll use without fail, but not really much else. And he's gotten better over the last two stops, that is Portland and now in Sacramento. But he was absolutely terrible at passing out of double coverage, and his mid-range was unbearably sometimey. Even this year in Sacramento, Whiteside was the best of both worlds type of player in a way that you really don't want to be. He wasn't the shooter that Marvin Bagley was. And that's actually saying a lot because Marvin Bagley was not a knockdown shooter this season. But he also wasn't the defender that Rashawn Holmes was. Trust me, guys, I watched King games and not as a Kings fan. I know. All that's to say, on a decent $2.3 million contract that he's currently on, all 30 teams still want him because he's 7 feet and can walk and chew gum at the same time. And he can also play help defense and can be a solid rebounder if given the minutes to do so. So, without further ado, let's get into the build. This is going to be center, hand it doesn't matter. Jersey number also doesn't matter. I just chose 21. Because that's the number he wore in his best years when he was on the Miami Heat. For the pie chart, you're going to go with the green and red half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, you're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to max out your close shot. Max out your driving dunk. Max out your standing dunk. And bring your post hook up to a 73. And that's going to give you 13 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to max out your mid-range shot. And bring your post fade up to a 77. And that's going to give you 8 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your post moves up to the max. Unfortunately, you're not going to get any additional playmaking badges. And for defense and rebounding, you're going to bring your interior defense up to the max. Bring your perimeter defense up to a 48. Bring your block up to the max. Bring your offensive rebounding up to the max. And you're going to max out your defensive rebounding. And that's going to give you 20 defense and rebounding badges. So 13 finishing, 8 shooting, 1 playmaking, and 20 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 42 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with defined. Height is going to be 7 feet. Weight is going to be 265 pounds. That is Hassan Whiteside's actual height and weight. And for the wingspan, you're going to go with a 91-inch wingspan. So at 99 overall, you're going to have an 88 close shot, a 60 driving dunk, and an 85 standing dunk with a 77 post hook. For your shooting stats, you're going to have a 74 mid-range shot, a 60 free throw, and an 80 post fade. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 76 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have an 89 interior defense, a 93 block, an 85 offensive rebound, and a 93 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym rep badge are going to be 63 for speed, 58 for acceleration, 63 for vertical, and 85 for strength. For the takeover, you could go with either takeover. It's completely up to you. I'm actually going to go with the glass cleaner takeover, though, because even though he's a great shot blocker, he actually led the league in rebounds, so that's why. But again, both are pretty solid for us on wide side. And the build is complete, and you have built a glass cleaning lockdown. Shades of David Robinson, Jonas Valanciunas, and Jared Allen. Now, for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're going to put back down finisher on gold, contact finisher on gold, lob city finisher on bronze. You're going to put deep hooks on gold, and you're going to put 
drop stepper on gold. For your shooting badges, you're going to put flexible release on gold. You're going to put hot zone hunter on silver, and you're going to put pick and popper on gold. For your one playmaking badge, you're going to put on post spin technician. And for your defense and rebounding badge, you're going to put box on gold. You're going to put chase down artist on silver, intimidator on gold, moving truck on silver, post move lockdown on silver, rim protector on gold, rebound chaser on gold, and you're going to put worm on silver. All right, everyone, this has been the best Hassan Whiteside build. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.